Hello, and welcome to the fifth episode of the Software Carpentry Lectures on Handling Files and Directories in Python. We will now look at creating and deleting directories and moving directories and files around. Let us assume we are in an empty directory called user and we want to create one called data. For this we use the makeDir function from the OS module. We can use listdir to see that we indeed have a new directory called data and that this new directory is empty. Now if we try to use makeDir again we get an error since it already exists. Suppose we want to make a nested set of directories for a more complex organisation of files. Let's give that a try. It fails. But no matter, as we can use the makeDirs function. This will create all the directories in the path if they don't already exist. Rumdir allows us to remove directories. So let's remove towns. Now let's try and remove country and its children. This fails. Rumdir only removes empty directories and is not recursive. But there is a remove dirs function that operates recursively. This removes each directory in the path up to and including the first one mentioned. So it removes regions, then country. But remove dirs only works if the directories are empty. Suppose we had some data files in the regions. Then, if we call remove dirs, we'd get an error. Remove dirs cannot remove directories that have files. But room tree in the sh util module can. Now that we've mentioned it, what about deleting files? Well, we could use room tree on individual files too. But there is a simpler remove function. So, if we had two files in data and wanted to remove one, we just use remove. We can rename and move directories and files too using the rename function. We can rename a directory. Note that the destination directory must not exist. If it does exist, we get an error. To keep the same directory name after the rename, we must provide it explicitly. Rename also renames files. Unlike for directories, a destination file name does not need to be given. As in that case, the source file name will be used. Alternatively, we can rename files and directories using the shututil modules move function. This is more powerful. Aside from moving the file or directory, it also preserves permission bits, the group and owner the last access and modification times and other flags. Renames behaves like both rename and make dirs in that it creates any intermediate directories that do not already exist like D. We can copy directories via copy tree from shutil. This copies the entire contents of the directory recursively. Like move, it preserves permission bits, groups and owners, last access and modification times, and other flags. We can copy files via copy file from shututil. Like move and rename for directories, a destination file name must always be given. Shutil's copy function also copies files. It is like copy file, but we don't have to provide a destination file name. It also copies the existing file permissions. Shutil also has a copy to function. This preserves permission bits, groups and owners, last access and modification times and other flags. Copy tree, which we saw earlier, uses copy to. In this episode, 
we have seen how to create, move, copy and delete directories and files using a variety of functions from the OS and shututil modules. Thank you for listening.